Today for a dinner idea, we're making brown butter sage butternut squash mac and cheese. It's a delicious twist on the popular Trader Joe's mac and cheese that everybody loves, so I can't wait to share this recipe with you guys. To begin, we're going to add our butternut squash, onion, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and oregano to a sheet pan. We're going to roast it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Now we're going to do some multitasking, so boil your pasta until al dente, and while your pasta is boiling, we're going to get started on our brown butter sage sauce. Melt down your butter on medium heat, and once it begins foaming, we're going to add our fresh sage, and then we're going to allow it to continue to cook on medium heat until it's beautifully brown. You want to make sure you keep your eye on it because it can turn from brown to burned really quickly. We're going to toss our sauce in that strained pasta to help prevent our pasta from sticking to itself as well as adding of course all of that beautiful flavor to the dish take your roasted veggies out of the oven and we're going to allow it to cool for a bit and then we're going to add everything into a blender as well as our pasta water and seasonings blend until smooth and we're going to add it to a dutch oven and simmer on low to medium heat we're going to slowly add in our freshly grated cheese until nice and melted and we're also going to add in splashes of pasta water until our consistency that we desire is achieved and this is where you should give it a taste and adjust the seasonings to your preference and then you can toss in your brown butter pasta you're left with a beautiful aromatic and creamy sauce and it's such a well-rounded flavored pasta and it's definitely best served warm so go ahead and garnish and you're done